Hi, I'm Mary Lee from TheCompletePenis.com, Workbook 1, Flashcard Training on the Grand Staff. This video will cover John Schmidt's anchor notes on the Grand Staff, the top, middle, and bottom lines of each staff. Let's get started. These anchor notes are notes you will want to learn like the back of your hand. Practice them daily until they are like an automatic response for you. The first note we will learn is the right bottom anchor. It lives here. We will also learn this note, which is a fifth up from there, and this note. In the left hand, we will learn this note, this note, and this note. Let's look at them on the grand staff. Notice the anchor notes lie on the bottom, middle, and top lines of the treble clef, and the top, middle, and bottom lines of the bass clef. You can tell which line is the middle anchor if there are two lines above it and two lines below it. Next you will be shown a series of anchor note flashcards and where they live on the keyboard. If you are in front of a piano, go ahead and find the notes with me. the right bottom anchor, the lowest line in the treble clef ladder, lives on E for elephant immediately after the two black keys. Keep going up the ladder, a fifth up, and you'll find the right middle anchor or the right middle line. It lives on B for back door immediately after the three black keys. A fifth up again is the top of the ladder. The top anchor, or the top line, lives on F for front door, or immediately before the three black keys. As an exercise, try the following treble clef anchors on your own. The bass clef has some nice hints to help us remember where they are in the staff. The top anchor, or the top line in the left, is on the top note underneath the three black keys, which is A for ants. It is a fifth down from the right bottom anchor. Continue a fifth down, and here is the left middle anchor, or the left middle line. It's on the middle note of between the two black keys, or D for dog. One more fifth down is the left bottom anchor, or bottom line. It's the bottom note inside the three black keys, or G for grandpa. As an exercise, try the following bass clef anchors on your own. Now let's apply what we've learned to a piece of music. I'll be using John Schmidt's 67 fun songs to demonstrate. When sight reading a piece of music, you can now use the anchor notes to find any note on the grand staff. Simply find the closest anchor note and decide if the next note is a skip or a step away from that anchor note. If you are in front of a piano, go ahead and try this example with me. Here's the right middle anchor and the right middle anchor again. This next note is a skip down from that anchor. And then it repeats. Then come back to the right middle anchor. Now how do we find, th find this note? It is um, close to an anchor. It's close to the right bottom line. So use that anchor and then step down from that anchor note. This note is a step above our right middle anchor. Repeat. Step down from the middle anchor. Step up from that middle line. And here's another note. The step down from the bottom line. With a lot of practice, you'll be able to identify these anchor notes on the ground staff and be able to play real music. If, as always, if you have any questions or would like to download any of the free material, go to thecompletepianist.com.